particularly glad you're here because I, we want to give you the background where we stand at the state level on the budget, uh, where we are now, and, and most important, hear what you think because uh, we need we need your. Uh, I was wondering about the binding arbitration. Um, how much money would that save, and what alternatives would the towns have that that's suspended uh, for a while? Savings locally will depend on the town, it will vary from town to town, but um, it will be significant uh, on the local level. Uh, you know, arbitration, uh, the word arbitration means arbitrary, and what you do is at the end of the negotiations, you come down someone decides by fiat uh, what the result's going to be, puts an end to negotiation, and um, that makes it very difficult uh, to, uh, to work out uh, significant savings. I realize that this is a situation that's very, this is a matter that's very sensitive. Uh, binding arbitration, uh, the public employees uh, will insist very strongly on preserving binding arbitration. We're not proposing to end it altogether, only suspend it for two years during this uh, particular uh, period uh, of financial stress. And you know, it's, it, my, in my judgment, anyway, it's better to have a job, even if it doesn't have a big raise, than have no job at all. So, uh, and the legislature finally get to the point where they realize that they have to be in the downsizing business. Because frankly, you know, we can't pay more taxes. And the state cannot be spending money like what it says. Because when I look at your budget, I get the sense that we are finally coming to address this. Uh, you, you know, whichever side of the aisle uh, one is on, uh, we are all citizens of this state. We all have to go home and, and talk with, uh, with the taxpayers and people we represent. And the call is so clear, as, as the whole Tony reference mentioned that people just think this government has gotten uh, out of control. Uh